Hey guys, welcome to One Simple Play. It's a series of videos of offensive concepts for coaching youth football. And when I say youth, I mean ages roughly 8 through 11 or 3rd through 6th grade. Uh, it's the tackle football age that I've been coaching for quite a few years now. And I'd just like to share some of my experiences and thoughts with other coaches out there in the hopes that uh, maybe they can use them in their efforts too. So uh, today I just wanted to make a, a quick plea or uh, suggestion, I guess, uh, to, to listen to your kids. Um, and, and don't just listen to them, uh, but actively seek out their input in what you're doing. Um, I know that might not be uh, a natural thing for a lot of people to do. Um, uh, an organized coach might just have their plans and their, their philosophies all set in stone and they're ready to lay them out and that's, that's awesome. Um, I, I think that there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I think that those ideas can definitely be enhanced if you actually have a, a conversation and a dialogue with your players about what they're seeing out there and what they're doing. So uh, what, what does that mean? Um, listening to your players uh, during games. Uh, ask them what they're seeing out there. Um, this I mean, might, might sound obvious, but I uh, think sometimes we forget to do that. I know uh, one time this year I was calling all sorts of different plays, and during the quarter break I said, what are you guys seeing out there? And our, our center said, I got this guy, run up the middle, let's run 32-33. Uh, he wanted us to run tight uh, because he was feeling really good about his matchup, so we did. Uh, good, call by, good call by him. Um, sometimes it can mean uh, a tactical decision in terms of how we draw up a play. Um, I know last year uh, we had a play, uh, tight end pass, I guess we call it, where the tight end's running a corner, our, yeah, our wing back was running it out, oh, no. and originally we had our quarterback just dropping straight back. Um, after a few days of practice, our quarterback said, you know what, maybe this would be better if we rolled out, and this would give the fullback a better blocking angle, and it would give me a better throw over here to our tight end. Uh, really good suggestion. Um, We've had times this year where we had a play drawn up where we had a backside receiver running a hitch. Um, after unsuccessfully running that a few times, he suggested we change that route to a slant. Uh, very good suggestion. It worked out really well. Um, we've also had uh, backs suggest uh, changing the footwork uh, on a handoff play that we ran. So uh, that was a good suggestion as well. So those were all ideas that came from you know, an 11, 10, 9-year-old kid. Um, you'd be surprised with what they know. Um, terminology is another good one. Um, there's been times when I've drawn up a play and I've looked at it and it just doesn't sound great. Um, it sounds like something out of an NFL playbook and it's just gibberish. It's way too long, too many words, too many numbers, colors. Um, ask the kids, what should we call this play? Um, they're, they're probably going to come up with something that's better and more, more memorable, more meaningful than what you could do. Uh, let them use their own language. Um, it can even go with uh, nonverbal signals. Um, this year we had a quarterback and his brother were uh, on our offense, leaders on our offense. Uh, we had an audible call that they had at the line that they came up with the sign themselves uh, over dinner one night. Um, that's great. That had nothing to do with me, but it was something that they came up with and it meant something to them and it worked. Um, then finally, plays. Um, there are times, uh, this last year was great. We, we would start practice at 5.30, but a lot of times we had half our team or more there by 5 o'clock. And while we were sitting around uh, waiting for our varsity team to get done with the practice field, uh, we'd be sitting on blocking dummies, and I'd, I'd give them the marker in this board and say, hey, drop a play. And sometimes the plays were pretty, pretty out there, pretty far-fetched, but a few times they really made a lot of sense. Um, and I think we ended up running one of them. Uh, and, and it was just a, a slight variation of uh, formation and play that we had. Um, and it's always really good to, to have the kids explain to you why they think that play would work. Um, it gets them thinking about um, what, what you've taught them, uh, and if you've taught them properly, uh, about why offensive plays work, uh, whether it be numbers or uh, blocking schemes or misdirection or what. Um, it's always good to just to ask them to, to draw something up from scratch. Um, you can really learn a lot of interesting things that way. Now, you don't always have to listen to them. That might sound obvious, but uh, a lot of the times the ideas they come up with are pretty bad. And uh, they just make you laugh and uh, you, you chuckle and coaches kind of look at each other sideways. And, and it, but that's, that's part of the fun of it too. Um, you know, we, you give them the marker and they start drawing up triple reverses and fumble ruskies and, and plays you, you ran uh, just to keep things light at the end of a scout team session at some point or another. Um, but uh, you don't have to listen to it, okay? That, that might sound obvious, but uh, just establish that on the front end. 
Um, and, and sometimes, uh, because we, we can at times run a pretty loose ship, uh, a bunch of people start talking excitedly and it gets a little bit out of hand and you'll have to shut that down. Um, and, and, you know, that gets kind of irritating at times. But, again, if, if you're weighing that versus the alternative, which is a bunch of kids just sitting there uh, with their mouths closed and um, not, not participating in it at all, I'd, I'd prefer the former. So, um, overall, it's just a great way to, to have a dialogue with your players and have that conversation be a, a two-way street rather than one way. Uh, looking forward to hearing what you think about this. Please leave me a comment below or email me at scott underscore tappa at hotmail.com. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. There's a lot of good uh, youth football coaching ideas on there, uh, videos uh, with practice, uh, practice drills and things of that nature, uh, clinic presentations from high school and youth coaches around the state of Wisconsin, even some college coaches. We've got some game film, uh, lots of stuff that you can look at if you're interested in learning more about becoming a youth football coach. Um, thanks again for watching.